And now we have a, a video for the children among you. So gather them around the computer or the TV or however you are watching as we welcome Sister Amanda by video. Prayer. Here we have a little girl and her name is Emery. This is Emery and Emery has always wanted a horse. Forever she has wanted a horse and she would ask her parents, please, please will you get me a, a horse? And they said, no, Emery, we're not going to get you a horse. Please, I want a horse. No. Oh, so she knew that her birthday was coming up. And she decided, oh, I'm going to ask God for a horse. He'll bring me a horse. She prayed every day leading up to her birthday. Please, Jesus, please bring me a horse for my birthday. Please bring me a horse for my birthday. And Emery woke up on her birthday. She went downstairs. And she had waiting for her a delicious breakfast, a birthday breakfast. And she ate it with her family, and they had a great time. There was no horse there. But she didn't throw a fit because she wasn't that type of a girl, and she was patient, and she knew she prayed about it. They did some other fun things, and they came back, and her grandparents were coming over, and some other relatives. And then she thought, oh, that's probably, they're probably going to bring the horse. They went into the living room, and guess what was there? No horse. There was no horse there. She couldn't believe it. She had some very nice presents, and she was very thankful. There was no horse. It seems that God hadn't been listening to her prayer. Uh, around the same time, a little boy, and his name is Rowan. Now, Rowan also, guess what, wanted a horse. So he asked his parents, do you think you could get me a horse? And they said, no, Rowan, I don't think that would be a good thing. No, I'll take care of it. I really will. I'll be very responsible. I'll take care of the horse. Can I please get a horse? Oh, I don't think it's probably going to work out. Well, his birthday was coming up, so he decided he was going to pray also. Jesus, please bring me a horse for my birthday. Please bring me a horse for my birthday. He prayed every day up to his birthday. Please bring me a horse. He woke up on his birthday. This was the day he was getting his horse. He was very, very excited. He ran downstairs, and there was no horse. Again, a delicious breakfast, but no horse. They did some fun things with his family and him. And that afternoon, his grandparents came over and some other relatives. And they decided to go in the backyard and open presents. And guess what? There was a horse. He got a horse for his birthday. He was so excited. God had heard his prayer. And he had gotten a horse. He was so happy. But God heard both their prayers, but Emery didn't get the horse, and Rowan did get the horse. Well, let me tell you, this is where Emery lives. Emery lives in a gigantic city. This is a very big city. Cities aren't great for horses. She had prayed and God had heard her, but maybe she wasn't praying for the right thing and God knew that that wouldn't work out. Where would they keep the horse? Would the horse be happy? Would she be able to see the horse that much? This is where Rowan lives. Rowan lives in the country. There's lots and lots of space for the horse to run around. He can get on that horse and he can gallop all over the place. There's already some horses there that the horse can visit. So God knew that even though they were both praying for the same thing, it would work out better for Rowan because there was lots of space. God still hears us. Sometimes when we pray, we are praying for things that maybe aren't the best for us. So then why should we pray? Well, we don't always have to ask God for things. We can just tell God how grateful we are and just be thankful for the things around us. Let's do a little demonstration. So we're going to say that this is us and this is God. And when we talk to God, and it's just like talking to a friend, when you're communicating with them, you become closer and closer friends. Let's say this match is our prayer. So we can ask God for things, and we can talk to God about things. And we'll put this in there. And we 
praying to God and it's we're becoming closer to him becoming a good friend put it on there we talk to him every day just about all kinds of little things it doesn't have to be something gigantic let's see what it does see how much closer we are to God it's kind of like he comes into our lives you can see it there and he fills us and we are very close to him so even though we may not always get what we want we know that God is always listening to us and we are becoming closer and closer friends with him when we keep praying have a great Sabbath